Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are back in inside blah, our uh, Minecraft Let's Play world. I've got a lot of chatting to do, a lot of things to show you as well that I've done off camera. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below with a suggestion if you have one. And if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button guys let's get into today's video okie dokie guys if you've got a keen eye and a familiar i guess memory of our base here you will notice that the roof uh, and the height has been altered by one block uh, and the roof completely changed since the last episode uh, we have gone ahead and updated it made it a bit more I guess 3D instead of just being super flat. Um, it was really flat and I was streaming on here uh, a couple of times and I just realized like we didn't have enough storage room and I I feel like every time I jumped, especially when I placed down these chests, I feel like we were just hitting the ceiling. Um, so I decided to go ahead and you know make it a bit higher and I really like the design that I came up with. So hopefully you guys do as well. Um, we haven't really done anything else inside other than digging this tunnel out, which leads to the skeleton farm, which I will show you shortly. But also, um, I just popped these furnaces here just for now. Actually, while I'm here, let me grab some more food while I remember. Um, and we also added this room here. Now, I don't know what I want to do with this room. I either want to make a uh, elevator down to our uh, our mine, um, but I have no idea because uh, currently our mine is over here. <sighs> but I don't know if I like it here or not. I don't know what what F three coordinates are this are these negative two three nine. So that's the drop. And this is negative 242. So we, we might be able to line it up. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. So I have been streaming on this world a lot, like I just mentioned. And one of the things that I have done is I've completely and totally cleared that entire area. It used to be like up and high. I decided to go ahead and flatten that. And I also flattened this on stream. So this probably took a total of maybe four hours. Um, to go ahead and clear entirely. Uh, this was like up and above the actual sea level or ocean level. So um, yeah, that was that was a lot of stone. Like if I come back down here in my base and if I show you in these chests, this was what I pretty much cleared. And we didn't even use these three chests, which is awesome. But yeah, it was a, it, it was a lot of work. Let's, let's just leave it at that. All right. Um, the only other thing I think I need some feedback on is how we can get in and out of this underwater base. Now, because it is kind of in the middle of the water, I didn't want to just build some sort of like contraption all the way up to the water and then have to swim to it, go down, come back up. Like, I, I don't know. So what I kind of wanted to reach out to you guys and ask if you have any suggestions as to how we could go in and out of the base um, and just see if you guys yeah have any cool ideas because I have no idea but let's run through the tunnel and I'll quickly show you guys what I've done in the skeleton farm it's probably hands down my favorite design in the world so far and I've got some pretty cool plans for for builds and things like that we do have to light up this ravine uh, and there's obviously a fair amount of mobs you know roaming around still which probably isn't the best thing but whatever <laughs> let's keep running um, I don't know if I want to keep this big old tunnel to the uh, to the skeleton farm or not I don't know uh, we'll probably incorporate some mine carts or anything really anything at all but we're nearing the design I don't I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this off yet we've got it here uh, the skeletons drop here and then kill them and we get levels and blah 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 enchanting room right here probably should stock that up a little bit more we are running a little bit low 
But if we come over here, I do actually have an on and off switch. So let me grab these. So it's currently on, but if we flick this switch, all the uh, redstone lanterns turn on and they stop spawning. But then if I flick that off again, they will start spawning straight away, which is perfect. Now, the fav my favorite part of this is definitely the armor stands. Now, do I have any glass on me? No, I wanted to test and see if we could place them inside glass, but I doubt it. But the cool thing about these three armor stands is all of these are actually um, fully repaired. And the only thing I'm missing now is the leather boots. So all of these are fully repaired. And the way I repaired them was literally just from the, um, the skeleton spawner itself. So let's kill these guys. Sweet. And then I just disenchant everything, get some extra levels, and then literally chuck them back in there. But yeah, I've, uh, I've just been like combining um, broken things until we get like a fixed uh, completed set. And then I place them here. I do have an I some iron boots, so we might even have to um, make another. We'll probably have to make a uh, an entirely new section to keep up with the amount of armor we are actually getting. Let me just kill these guys quickly. As you can see, it's pretty efficient, uh, especially disenchanting. It's pretty, pretty cool. But let's head back and I'll meet you guys back at the base. And I've got something really, really cool to uh, discuss with you guys. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, so I figured while we're here still, I might go ahead and enchant a pickaxe, because we do have level 30. Ooh, perfect. Just what I wanted. Awesome. All right. What I would like to show you guys is something I sort of came up with on stream, and I need to do a lot of clearing still. So let's swim over here to the edge of the swamp where it turns into a, I think it's a hills biome or a mountain biome. I can't remember. But it's probably something that I'll work on off camera. Um, so don't get your hopes too high until we uh, initially start it but essentially if you were in the stream you definitely know what's going on um, in paint like on the computer paint I have designed a kind of blueprint for I don't want to call it a mega build just just a big build I've designed a blueprint for the start of a kingdom and this is the frame for it. So this will be the entrance here. And I'm hoping we'll be able to see it from our house. So if I remember, I will pop uh, the photo up on stream, uh, on screen. I was going to say stream then. On screen. Um, and show you guys essentially what it's hopefully going to look like from bird's eye view down. So all I've been doing is I have been mining out all of this excess stone up the top i'll need to get rid of this thing as well but i'm kind of trying to incorporate some of the mountain into this build as well and my dog is barking like crazy i have no idea why um, and also this because it kind of looks like something should be framed in the middle here but yeah so this is going to be a lot of work so I, I was thinking that I could go ahead and do some digging off camera now come back to you guys once the digging is done I always start these kinds of things and then I realize I probably should get my hands on a beacon because <laughs> that would be a lot a lot more helpful but I don't think that far ahead so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording here I'm going to go and do some digging and come back and hopefully have some of the frame completed to show you guys. So bear with me. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've been hard at work and I have finally got rid of this whole section here in front of me. It was that uh, that mountain section uh, and then this is the frame that we have so far. Uh, there is this little flat area here and I'm probably going to go ahead and build like some sort of uh, barracks or something here because it is outside the walls of the castle. This is the walls of the actual castle, but we will have outer walls um, for the actual kingdom. So this is the castle of the kingdom, but I want to have external walls for the actual kingdom 
not just within the castle walls. So there are a few um, actual buildings that are going to go inside here as well. But the main purpose of the castle build itself is I'm going to go ahead and allocate areas within this build uh, to recognize um, Patreon subscribers and Twitch subscribers. Um, those guys that, uh, that subscribe uh, and support through those channels, I guess, of support. Um, I just want to show appreciation for them uh, in doing that. So I, I think that's a good idea um, and something to look forward to. So I'm going to go ahead and place. So basically these walls, they're not going to be, um, be able to be walked on. So essentially they're going to go up and then they're going to have like a staircase out. So there'll always be like two... Um, too, I don't know what I was saying then, not too, th yeah I guess too thick in a way, uh, but we will be building them out of smooth stone, uh, stone bricks. So I've set up some furnaces here and it's just automatically running through and smelting that for us. Now I want to go ahead and place down a keep of some kind. But I want to keep a distance maybe of like one, two, three. So one, two, three. So maybe we can start the corner there or even here. So maybe one, one, two, and then one, two, three. Let's see if that looks okay and is big enough. Already stuffed it up. And then one, one, two, uh, and then one, two, three. And this can be like where we keep all of like the armor stands and weapons and things like that, which will be cool. So yeah, that'll be a, a nice addition. Um, and then we'll obviously have some sort of pathing system. We'll have an entrance maybe here. Um, or possibly from the back, maybe we'll have like a sneaky little exit from here, entrance into here. But if you have any ideas, guys, or building ideas, so any any building ideas to um, include within the kingdom, make sure you let me know because I'm going to go ahead and put actual villages in here as well. And I want to go ahead and name those guys um, possibly from comments in the comment section down below, but I just want to show you something really cool. I was actually mining for a little bit and caving, so I wanted to get um, some iron to actually make those hoppers, but I did stumble across something super cool that I want to work out how we can incorporate it into the actual build. Like, what the heck? A zombie spawner right here. That's crazy to me. That is absolutely crazy. So we're going to have to come back and definitely go ahead and incorporate that into this build somehow. Uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video, a lot of this is going to be constructed on stream. So if you do want to go ahead and follow me over on Twitch, um, I do live stream over there as well. And if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you do actually go ahead and check out the streams over there as well. Uh, but essentially I've just been doing like a... 353, three, but I think I'm going to go 3537. Three, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then just go back 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Hook into the back wall there. Because so I don't really want to spread out too much over here. Or we could have like some sort of build on this mountain itself as well. But, you know, we've got uh, probably months ahead of us of building this construction, constructing this actual castle. So I think I'll continue to go ahead and, um, I don't know why I just built that in. I'll continue to go ahead and uh, blueprint this up and uh, we'll pretty much have probably updates every couple of episodes on our castle here. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a like down below. I have edited this video in a new piece of editing software as well. So let me know if you do uh, prefer the quality of this over the previous videos as well. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. See you later.